Well, in the political season, especially the presidential race, absolutely essential that you brand your candidate. So we can think of the Republican camp where they're saying, we have Mr. Fix-It. There's a problem with the economy. This is a man who can get us jobs. Who is that? Governor Mitt Romney. On the Democratic side, we have the man who speaks of hope and change and the man who's trying to turn around the country. So there's a lot of enthusiasm still for President Barack Obama. So once again, we've got to get our messages across from both camps. Now, how do you do that? Well, with the Republican convention, what we saw is they went out of their way to say, this is a man who's based his career in the private sector. So his experience at Bain Capital allows Mitt Romney to really speak to business issues as far as turning things around. They went out of their way to talk about the Olympics, how he saved it. It was on the brink at the precipice and he turned it around. So once again, the label Mr. Fix-It is something they want to get across to the voters. In the case of the president, they want to say that, look, there's not enough time to turn around the mess that he inherited. Things were really bad and we were on the verge of basically what looked like a depression. So we called it the Great Recession. But given four more years, we're on the turn. We're coming around the corner. America's coming back. That's why you need to stay with Democratic leadership. Well, the Democratic Convention, from my standpoint, since I am a Democrat, has been pretty exciting. In terms of the very first night with Michelle Obama getting up there saying, this is what my husband stands for. This is his value. This is what he's about as a man in his private moments, I think resonated with a lot of voters. The following night, of course, we had the guy, Bill Clinton, who got up there and was electrifying last night as he was basically a lawyer making a case for why President Obama deserves a second term. And I think he was brilliant in terms of a, all of the negative points raised by the Republicans. He shot them down one at a time. And it was a very thorough, if you will, cross-examination. And finally, a summation, once again, why we need Barack Obama as president. So tonight, of course, the pressure is on the president. So I'm thinking this could be one of those electrifying moments in American history. In terms of the Republican convention, what made things rather interesting is that Mitt Romney had a hard choice to make. Who was going to be vice president? He had lots of potential candidates. And in the end, he settled on a young guy, Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan comes in at 42, Generation X, as, as far as being a politician, he's rather young. And he electrifies, I think, part of the youth vote. Because there are a lot of disgruntled youth out there saying, you know, well, I voted for President Obama last time. Things haven't turned around so quickly. So when you're somewhat disaffected, you tend to think, well, let's try this guy. He seems to have some new ideas. Also, Paul Ryan gave credentials as far as being a true conservative. Because there, Mitt Romney has been known as sort of a flip-flopper, I guess, over his career. So I think he wanted to really show to the Tea Party, I'm serious, and look who's I, who I've added to the team.